In this video, we're going to cover key things that you need to know about cradle cap in newborn babies. We're going to be covering the following information, which is split into sections and timestamped so you can navigate your way through the video. So first of all, what is cradle cap? And should you be alarmed if you think your newborn baby has it? Well, cradle cap, which is medically known as seborrheic dermatitis, is the name used to describe the appearance of crusty, scaly, or oily skin patches on your baby's skin. Now it's most common between three weeks and 12 months of age, and we'll take a look at some real life clinical photos of it so that you've got a better idea of what it might look like later on in this video. Now, the scales are usually found on the scalp and face, but they can also appear in the groin or the nappy area. Now, common signs of cradle cap include patchy scaling or thick crusts on the scalp, as you can see here. Now, you may also notice oily or dry skin covered with flaky white or yellow scales. And you may also notice small dry flakes of skin in the nappy area. Now it's important to note that whilst the scales will look similar on all babies, children with black or brown skin might have lighter or darker skin color underneath the scales, whilst children with white skin may have mild redness under the scales. Now we don't fully know the exact cause of cradle cap, but it is not contagious, meaning that you won't catch it from your baby, and it's not the result of poor hygiene, and in fact it's really common amongst newborn babies. Now as a new parent myself, I know it can be alarming to see your child's skin flaking, but fortunately cradle cap is a harmless condition and it usually goes away by itself within about six to 12 months. So what can you do at home to try and help manage this? Well, there are thankfully a few simple things that you can do at home that can improve and help manage your baby's cradle cap. These are things like lightly massaging your baby's head with moisturizers to help loosen the scales, then washing your baby's hair or head with a mild non-scented shampoo. Now you can always speak to your pharmacist about which moisturizers and shampoos are best, but it's always best to avoid scented shampoos and never use adult shampoos. You could also try using a soft bristled baby brush on your baby's scalp. This can help loosen up the crusts. Now you might notice that some hair comes away with the flakes. This is completely normal and your baby's hair will grow back in time. Now in terms of things to avoid doing, you shouldn't use olive oil or peanut oil on your baby's skin to massage it because these can irritate the skin or they can cause an allergic reaction. Similarly, you shouldn't pick at the scaly skin patches because this can lead to a secondary infection. Again, this is a harmless condition. However, after a few weeks of treatment, it doesn't appear to be improving or you notice the crusty skin is bleeding or leaking fluid. The issue seems to cover the baby's entire body or the area around the crusty skin is swollen, then you should see your doctor because these symptoms could be signs of other conditions like atopic eczema or scabies. Now there are certain circumstances when you might need to see your doctor more urgently on the same day or take your child to A&E and these are in the following circumstances. 